On June 12th, 1560, a cataclysmic event occurred here, which would shape Japanese history forever. So stay tuned as we look at the Battle of Okehazama. In 1560, Yamagawa Yoshimoto decided to march towards Kyoto to stamp his authority on the country through the ailing Ashikaga Shogunate. There was only one man standing in his way, Oda Nobunaga. Among Imagawa Yoshimoto's army, there was the young Matsudaira Motoyasu, later to be known to posterity as Tokugawa Ieyasu, the first of the Tokugawa shoguns. Imagawa Yoshimoto had a force of approximately 25,000 men. Oda Nobunaga had about 2,500. Oda Nobunaga was known by a very common nickname of the Fool of Owari, and as such, Imagawa Yoshimoto didn't think that he was a serious threat. Iyasu wasn't at the battlefield. He was resting in one of the local fortresses which he'd captured. The capture of these fortresses had given Imagawa Yoshimoto enough confidence to prematurely declare victory and sorry about the background noise but as I'm doing this in a public park it just cannot be helped. Many of his men cautioned Nobunaga to wait out Yamagawa Yoshimoto in Kyosu Castle on Venin Pass but he had different ideas and decided to go for a surprise attack considering if he cut off the head of the snake, the rest of the Imagawa army would wither. It was quite a gamble that Nobunaga took. He was outnumbered at least 10 to 1. Imagawa Yoshimoto had about 25,000 troops encamped in this valley. He only had about 2,500 to field against him. However, he was helped by the fact that there was a quite fortunate thunderstorm to cover the surprise attack. And so the Battle of Okeazama began. Toyotomi Hideyoshi was also present at this battle in the rank of Ashigaru as to how much he participated is open for debate however in Rise of the Monkey I decided to give him some combat action around about this location that Imagawa Yoshimoto was killed by two older samurai. At first he thought that a drunken fight had broken out amongst his men and in the confusion his head was taken. Soon after his death the Imagawa army surrendered and the Imagawa clan effectively came to an end. This greatly upset the balance of power leaving Nobunaga in a strong commanding position of central Japan hereafter. If Tokugawa Ieyasu had not been sheltering Marune, he may well have been at the battlefield and then he could have fallen with Imagawa Yoshimoto and history would have been different. However, 
with the death of Yoshimoto, he was then freed from his hostage ship to the Imagawa clan and he was also free to forge his own destiny, which he did by forming an alliance with Oda Nobunaga soon after. What was then Gaku Hazama is quite different these days. It's now a public park and rather shrunken from its original size. However, a key battle in Japanese history took place here at odds of 10 to 1 or even more. Nobunaga was victory and everything was different thereafter. Thank you for watching today's video on the Battle of Okeazama. Don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my Amazon page through the link in the description. Thank you for watching.